I'm Jennifer Kenton, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an enhanced ePortfolio. If you looked at my previous tutorial, you'll notice that your ePortfolio should contain a cover page, personal statement, resume, project log, and then all 10 projects that you completed. Each project will have four pages that will contain a project description, a call sheet, a timesheet, and an evaluation. An enhanced portfolio will contain a PDF that looks much more professional than the general portfolio. I also have included a link to download the PDF. So let's get started. First, you want to put all of your enhanced PDFs into Google Drive. First, I go to my Gmail account. Then, I click on these nine dots that indicate Google Apps and go to Drive. In Google Drive, I make a new folder. Next, once I've made that folder, as you can see right here, now I can upload all of the PDFs that I have made that I will be putting into my ePortfolio. You can either drag the PDFs into this field or you can click on New, File Upload. The next step is to go back into Canvas and begin creating your ePortfolio. The first thing you will do is in your Canvas account, go over to Account on the left. Double click Account and you will see ePortfolios. Click on Create an ePortfolio. Name it your name. Mine will be Jennifer Kenton. Film Broad 385 Portfolio Enhanced Make ePortfolio. Do not make it public. Here you will see Welcome to your ePortfolio. Your ePortfolio is private. Notice this will be the link that you will share with people that you want to see your ePortfolio. This will also be the link that you use to turn in for your assignment in Film Production 385. Now we're going to go to Home, but we're going to first click on Organize Sections to see this little gear by Home so that we can rename Home to be Cover Page. We're going to double click Done Editing, click, click, and go to our cover page, Welcome. Here we're going to edit this page and we can call this Jennifer Penton, of course, in your case, it will be your name, cover page. And here we can put in a photo of ourselves. So what I'm going to do is click right here on Embed Image. When I click on Embed Image, Canvas will allow me to find an image that I want to put into my portfolio. So the first thing I would want to do is actually go here and upload a file. So I'm going into Canvas, My Files, Upload File. Now I'm going to go over to my computer's Finder and I'll put in a picture of myself. Click on Open, Upload File, successfully uploaded, and now I'll click on Update. Next, I will hit Return and type Jennifer Penton set dresser and I will add another image that I think is appropriate by going to canvas my files upload file and find a really great image that you're proud of click on update and now I have a nice cover page feel free to make your cover page more enhanced than this this is just an idea save page Next, I go to Organize Sections, Add Section, and now I'm going to make my Personal Statement section. So I'm going to name this Personal Statement, Done Editing, click on Personal Statement, click on New Page, click on Edit This Page, name this Jennifer Penton Personal Statement. Make sure you turn off Allow Comments, and now I'm going to click on HTML Embedded Content, so that I can embed a PDF into this page. Now I navigate to my Google Drive 
and find the personal statement. I double click on it and then I click on these three dots, more actions, click on share. I want to make sure that I've set the link to be that anyone on the internet with this link can view. Once I have made sure that it says this, I click on done. Next, I click over here again to these three dots that give me more options and I click open in new window. Once Google has opened this personal statement in a new window, I click again on more actions, embed item. Google will give me code to paste into my field in Canvas. Click on Command C to copy it, click on OK. Now in the HTML embedded content box, I click Command V and paste this code from Google Drive. And I wanna change the size here so that my height is a little bit bigger and actually 840 works very nicely. And then I wanna also add my PDF that can be downloaded. So I'm going to click on image, file upload, and I can either choose a file from my computer or if I've already uploaded the image, I can just look here and find my personal statement. Make sure that your selection is completely gray and then click on select upload file. Make sure that you see it here and click on save page. Now you will see that I have my personal statement and underneath I have a downloadable PDF. You'll notice that this personal statement is shorter and kind of square. So in this case, I might want to shorten the frame in which this personal statement lives. So I go back to edit this page and I'll change this to 640 because it's a square. Now, when I save page, watch how the box that my personal statement sits in is much nicer. Next, I'm gonna click on Organize Sections again, Add Section, and name it Resume. Done editing, done editing. Go to Resume, edit this page, Jennifer Penton resume, turn off, allow comments on this page, open up HTML embedded content, go back to Google Drive and get my resume, double click to open it, click on more actions, share, make sure this says anyone on the internet with this link can view, click on done, click more actions, open a new window, more actions again, embed item, copy the code, command C, click on OK, Go back to my resume page, paste the code. Now in this case, I will change it to 840. Upload the PDF that I also have saved. And just to show you, if I want to get it from my computer, I can go choose file, Jennifer Penton resume, open. You see that it puts it here. Click on select, upload file, save page. And now I nicely have an embedded PDF of my resume and a downloadable PDF of my resume as well. Go to back to organize sections, add section, name it project log, done editing, done editing. Go to the project log section, edit this page, call this Jennifer Penton project log, turn off comments, click on HTML embedded content, go back to Google Drive, Jennifer Penton project log, double click to open in a new window, click on more actions, share, make sure anyone on the internet with this link can view. Done. Go back to more actions. Open a new window. Go back to more actions. Embed item. Grab the HTML code. Hit Command C. Click on OK. Paste the HTML code. Change 480 to 840. Go to image file upload. Either choose it from files you've already uploaded or go back to choose file. Choose Jennifer Penton project log. Click on open. Select upload file. Make sure allow comments is off, save page, and here's my project log. Now I'm ready to start putting in my 10 projects. Click on organize sections, add section. I'll call this UCLA project. Done editing, done editing. Go to the UCLA project, edit this page, name this UCLA project description, turn off comments, click on HTML embedded content, Go back to Google Drive, get UCLA project description, double click on it, click on the three dots, share, make sure anyone on the internet with this link can view, click on done, 
click on the three dots for more options, open a new window, click on more options, embed item, grab the HTML code, command copy, click on OK. In my UCLA project description page, paste the HTML content, command V, click on image file upload, either upload it or if you have it here, which I do, UCLA project description PDF, make sure this is gray, click on select upload file, you will see it here, save page, and this one I forgot to make this longer, so all I have to do is click on edit page, make sure that this height is set to 840, save page, now it's nice and long, that looks good. And now, remember that my UCLA project has to have four pages, so this section will have four pages, and I'm going to now click on Organize Manage Pages. And now I'm going to add another page, UCLA Call Sheet. Done editing, click on UCLA Call Sheet, edit this page, close Rich Text Content, click on HTML Embedded Content, go back to Google Drive, Grab my UCLA call sheet, double click on it to open it. Click on more actions, share, make sure anyone on the internet with this link can view. Done, more actions, open a new window, embed item, grab the HTML code. By highlighting it, command copy, command C, click on OK. Go back to my UCLA call sheet page, Hit Command V to paste the HTML code, change 480 to 840, click on Image File Upload, select UCLA Call Sheet, PDF, select Upload File, Save Page. So here's my UCLA Call Sheet. Click here to download UCLA Call Sheet. Now I'm going to add my UCLA Timesheet, add another page, UCLA timesheet, done editing, done editing, UCLA timesheet, edit this page, delete rich text content, click on HTML embedded content, go back to Google Drive, get my UCLA timesheet, double click on it to open it, go to more actions, share, make sure it says anyone on the internet with this link can view, done, open in a new window, Embed item, hit Command C to copy, click on OK, hit Command V to paste, change 480 to 840, click on Image File Upload, grab my UCLA timesheet, select Upload File, Save Page, go to Organize Manage Pages to add my final UCLA page. This will be UCLA Evaluation, done editing, done editing. Click on UCLA Evaluation, edit this page, delete rich text content, select HTML embedded content, go back to Google Drive, get UCLA Evaluation, double click to open it, choose more actions, share, make sure anyone on the internet with this link can view, click on Done, click here for more actions, open a new window, more actions, embed item, grab the HTML code, Hit Command C to copy, click OK, go back to UCLA Evaluation, hit Command V to paste the HTML code, change 480 to 840, click on Image File Upload, grab UCLA Evaluation PDF, select Upload File, Save Page. And this is looking pretty nice. Next, I will add the rest of my 10 projects. So click on Organize Sections, Add Section, USC project and with the USC project done editing, I will continue and make four sub pages within this USC project section. Just like UCLA, they will be USC project description, call sheet, timesheet, evaluation. So there you have it an impressive e portfolio with embedded PDFs and a PDF that you can download containing a cover page, personal statement, resume, project log, and all of your 10 projects, each containing four pages, a project description, call sheet, timesheet, and evaluation. 
Now I'm going to show you how to turn in your enhanced portfolio with embedded PDFs. Go back to Account, ePortfolios, click on your ePortfolio, copy this link, Command C, and then I'm going to go over to the assignment to turn it in. So right here, it says create an ePortfolio, and now I can just Command V to paste the link to the portfolio and submit the assignment. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you. Have a great day.